As we discussed, it's important to cal calculate everything in radians when dealing with anger problems because only in radians do our equations have a nice connection to the linear case through the connection s is equal to r theta. However, radians are probably the least intuitive units of measure for rotational uh, problems. We're most used to working in numbers of revolutions or numbers of degrees of, rota of rotation. So it's helpful if we can get some practice converting units. For example, let's try to convert one revolution per minute into the units of radians uh, or radians per second. This is a conversion problem, kind of like in stoichiometry uh, uh, for chemistry. We need to take one revolution per one minute and convert. One revolution can be cast into radians if we remember that there are 2 pi radians per revolution. And since we're converting from units of per minute to per second, we need to convert the bottom unit down here as well. We need to remember that there is one minute for every 60 seconds. So 60 seconds has to be in the denominator. Minutes ends up coming up to the numerator. So the multiplication factor is 2 pi over 60. This then becomes pi over 30 radians per second. And that's the answer to our problem. One revolution per minute is equal to pi over 30 radians per second.